All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I have to apologize today. Um, Debbie forgot to tell me that we we're going to be in Louisville, and I forgot my red tie. So yeah. I, I apologize about that. Sorry. It's truly a pleasure to be here today to represent the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and celebrate the great momentum in the Louisville neighborhood, this neighborhood right here, the Russell neighborhood, which is being awarded a $1 million Choice Neighborhoods Planning and Action Grant through the Louisville Metro Housing Authority. <laughs> this celebration would not be possible with everyone, without everyone beside me today and many of you in the audience. I would like to recognize the Louisville Metro Housing Authority Chairman of the Board, Manfred Reed. Thank you for being with us here today. Executive Director Tim Berry and his staff. As well as Mayor Greg Fisher for his outstanding leadership and support for this initiative. And speaking of support, this grant would not be possible without the support of Congressman John Yarman. Thank you for being here. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize Andrew Condia, who's here representing Senator Mitch McConnell, who sends his deepest regrets that he's not able to make it here for the celebration. Sorry. Today's grant builds upon the first planning grant that was awarded in January 2015 in the amount of $425,000. These grants are about renewal, revitalization, resident empowerment, vision, hope, and most importantly, opportunity. It's exciting when the Russell neighborhood families can look to the future with renewed optimism. And HUD, as well as everyone here, stands ready to take this moment and make this neighborhood a neighborhood of opportunity. Now, many things have changed over the years. However, our nation's fundamental ch challenge remains the same. To be the strongest, smartest, and safest nation in the world. That begins with one person and one family at a time, one neighborhood at a time, one community at a time. And I'm convinced that the central principle in meeting this concept boils down to one word, opportunity. Opportunity is not an abstract concept. It's a path to a more prosperous life. And we have seen that here in the past with some of the work here with the Louisville Metro Housing Authority through the HUD Hope 6 program with redevelopments such as Park Duval, Shepherd Square, and Liberty Green. However, we must go a step further with choice neighborhoods because that's what this grant is about. We call HUD the Department of Opportunity because whether you're rich or poor, young or old, Republican or Democrat, we can all agree on one thing. Housing shapes the quality of your life. Good housing and strong communities are a source of hope. So some of you may be wondering what success looks like. Here it is. When residents can come together with one voice and shape how their neighborhood is going to look. Another sign of progress is when you have real choices and real opportunities where you live. When your zip code does not determine your outcome in life. When you can work where you live and make a livable wage. When you can shop where you live and buy fresh, healthy foods for your family. When you can worship where you live. But most importantly, you should be able to live safe from crime and not have to be worried about your children when they go out and play. HUD was created, in President Johnson's words, to build a new America that's better, more beautiful, more liberating of life, 
and more inspiring of that spirit. I see that spirit here today in the Russell neighborhood, and now this grant is your opportunity to continue that spirit. Thank you. And now I have the opportunity to introduce our longtime congressman and friend, Mr. John Yarmouth. Well, thank you, Chris, and thanks to all of you for being here today. I said a year and a half ago when Secretary Castro was here to announce the early planning funding for this project, but I want to repeat it again today. Louisville is a shining example, a national model of the success of HUD's Hope 6 program. When you look at Shepherd Square and Liberty Green and Park Duval, you know the funding wasn't just awarded to our city, it was invested in our city. That investment continues to pay off in dividends and we plan to continue that success with the Choice Neighborhoods program. The Choice program and the Russell Neighborhood project in particular are not just about revitalizing housing in Louisville, they are about, about transforming lives, as Chris said, with better infrastructure, better schools and better services, along with safe neighborhoods and a safe place to call home. Those are things all Louisvillians should be able to count on. Yet I would guess not a single Beecher Terrace resident can. You can't build a life or chart a more successful path for you or your family without stability, security, or opportunity. And I want to say that the history of Louisville with the Hope Six programs has shown that this program, while we want to create neighborhoods that people want to move to, our primary focus is making these neighborhoods a better place for the people who live there. And the sensitivity and responsiveness that our managers of these programs have shown has been extraordinary. And that's what this project is all about and why I'm so excited to be part of this announcement. This new funding takes us another step a big step forward in the revitalization of the Russell neighborhood and Beecher Terrace. And probably the best news about this is that thankfully Governor Bevan can't send the money back. <laughs> so. so uh, thank you Director Taylor, Mayor Fisher, Councilman Tandy, Tim and Manfred from Metro Housing, and everyone who continues to have a hand in making this project a reality. And I also want to single out Tim, Tim Berry and his team. I've been honored to work alongside Tim and, and his team since I came to Congress, and I can't tell you how important he is to our city. We're all glad you're helping lead this effort for us. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. We've got uh, really good momentum in, in the city when you think about uh, redevelopment that's going on and development. We're really going through a renaissance in Louisville right now with billions of dollars of investment coming into our city. Uh, last year with the last year's budget, we announced the uh, CARES initiative, the Affordable Housing CARES initiative, the large, largest investment of that kind made in our city's history. With this past budget, uh, we've funded uh, the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. We've started that as well. So. As the economy has recovered, uh, we're investing in what I think is one of the most critical areas of, for our city, and that's to make sure, as Chris said, that people have a decent place to live. It is just hard to have stability if you don't know where the roof over your head is going to be. So it's great to see the council and my office working together to make that opportunity available for more of our citizens. And then we have our federal partners. That's what we're here today to really celebrate the partnership that we've had with HUD. And I want to tell you, when I visit with HUD when I go to Washington, D.C., and obviously point out all of the wonderful things about our city and what great fiduciaries we've been for the money that HUD uh, puts here in Louisville. And I do want to comment on what co the congressman said. They have a great deal of confidence in our Metro Housing Authority. So for everybody that's here that works for the Housing Authority, you, sh you all should know that you're seeing is one of the top groups in the country. And this is really critical because when HUD makes a decision on where they're going to invest their money, they want to make sure that the people that they're investing it with, the people that are going to actually oversee the plan and execute it, do so in an excellent manner. And you all have developed, we've developed here in the city, just a tremendous reputation for that. So to, for Tim Berry and the entire team, thank you guys for 
doing such a good job. So we've, we've got to have that as part of our success. But we would not have this grant here today if it were not for the residents of Russell. Because what HUD is looking for when they give a grant, and of course we, ha we received the initial grant uh, when Secretary Castro was here about a year and a half ago, as, as John mentioned, then they're like, okay, let's see what you do with that grant. And what they're interested in when they assist with revitalizing communities is, are the residents involved? Do the residents have a say? Do the residents care? And obviously when you see this follow-on grant like this, what they're saying is, well, yes, yes, and yes. So if the residents of Russell did not step up with enthusiasm and collaboration, working with our team uh, at Metro Government and the Housing Authority and all of our partners, faith partners, nonprofit partners, LC3 in the community, this would not have happened. So thank you very much to the residents of Russell for helping us to reimagine one of the most historic neighborhoods in our city. And when you take a look around and say, is anything happening, the good news is a lot is happening. It's been amazing to me uh, to see just over here what's happened with Chef Space, the kitchen incubator, uh, just a block from here. The demand has exceeded the supply in a very quick fashion, which I think has delighted everybody to really understand the kind of entrepreneurial uh, desires that we're exhibiting through food at Chef Space. The Cedar Street redevelopment with market rate housing is off to a very good start. And of course this building itself I think is as beautiful as any building in the country. And the Samuel Plato Academy here developing job skills in the neighborhood. So there's a lot of momentum going on. And this million dollar uh, grant from HUD obviously increases that momentum as well. Now what's really important to me and I think to everybody in this room and I know it is to HUD as well, that as we transition the Russell neighborhood, it is extremely important that the current residents of Russell not only continue to help us imagine what it's going to be, but share in the wealth and prosperity as this neighborhood goes through a transition. So as we plan, that needs to be front and center with our thoughts. And this is the kind of success that when you put uh, good community members together with the government, we go through a process of building things up, lots of planning sessions that everybody's been to, changing and exchanging ideas is what the kind of success is that develops out of this so that we all have a say in how this grant money is invested. We have from the beginning, we will with this million dollars, and then we hopefully will continue forward with that as we received more money to invest in the Ru Russell neighborhood. So the bottom line to me is that a successful neighborhood transformation begins and ends with the people who live and work there. So it's a great milestone for us today. Uh, we're certainly not to the end zone by any stretch of the imagination because these projects, once you get into the actual construction phase, cost a lot of money. But you've got to have a good plan and you've got to have involvement. And that's the main thing that HUD looks like. So we're doing our job here and I, I guarantee you from the senator's office, from the congressman's office, from your mayor's office. We will continue to advocate with HUD in Washington, D.C. so that we can continue this transformation that you see in the Russell neighborhood. So congratulations to everybody for the success so far. Let's keep it going. And to help us with this, I know, will be David Tandy, next up to speak here, our councilman. Please welcome David Tandy. I forgot to throw some love to Manfred Reed here. <laughs> he's our chair. And this man is one of the great citizens of Louisville. Uh, he's quiet. He doesn't care who gets the results, but he just keeps at it day in and day out. And his only concern is the mission and the improvement of the welfare of our citizens. So I don't know how I overlooked you because you're my hero. Manfred Reed. Now, let me... Uh under, you know, underscore that uh, just a little bit more. Manfred Reed is like the old, old school point guard that you used to have in basketball. He's your John Stockton type, your, your Jason Kidd, uh, if you will, that you know, knows how to distribute 
the rock where it needs to be, doesn't worry about scoring points. He's not flashy, he's not showy, uh, but he gets the job done. And that's really what this program and or what the uh, announcement that we have here today is all about. It's not about just one individual office, one individual branch of government, but it's a holistic collective effort of everybody here uh, in Louisville participating in it. If you were to go down the list, of all the different organizations who've been a part of this, not only just the residents of Russell, but you know you have groups like the uh, LCCC uh, participating in it and doing work on their own in terms of uh, they received some grants from um, the um, in, uh, the National Architectural Institute uh, to vision what will um, West Muhammad Ali look like in a new Russell neighborhood. You know, you've got the people who, with Vision Russell who've been working on this the, at, from the Urban League standpoint and the, the uh, uh, Zones of Hope and the work that they're doing. The point that we're making here is it takes a holistic effort if we're going to transform a community and that's what's being rewarded here. You know, we started off with the smaller grant from HUD. They wanted to you know, test us out, see what we could do. Even though we've proven ourselves time and time again with Hope 6 and then all the other iterations of the program, now we're calling it Choice Neighborhood. Whatever you want to call it, just send the money over here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, Mr. Director, and we'll make sure that it gets used and utilized properly to make sure that unlike in other places, um, when a neighborhood goes through that process of going from where it used to be to new and higher heights, that we don't leave anybody behind. That everyone's going to get an opportunity to participate in the progress and in the growth of this new Russell neighborhood if they choose to be here. And so uh, I want to try to be strong but not long. Uh, to make sure uh, that we allow for the other speakers to participate in this program. But I want to thank everybody here for the work that you have done, the work that you're doing right now, and the continued work that we're going to be doing going forward uh, when we do get the capital grant uh, to be able to finish out the work and all this planning that we do. i just throwing that out there uh, <laughs> that, you know, I, I have a... Um, uh, Reverend Ellis, a prophetic mind right now to be able to say that I can see into the future and I see a capital grant coming. All right. No pressure, but that's what we see. So again, we want to thank everybody uh, for the work that you're doing, uh, for the work that uh, you have been doing and continue to do. And again, like I said, I want to bring uh, to the podium uh, the point guard uh, of our team, uh, the chairman of the uh, Louisville Metro Housing Authority, uh, Mr. Manfred Reed. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. I want to thank everybody for being here today. And um, I come to make a report to the community more so than to participate in a ceremony. What we have done in the Russell neighborhood is beyond belief. And we want to give our total thanks to our honorable mayor for his great support throughout this whole venture and the investments that he's making in our neighborhood. And there's no greater friend that we've had than a congressman, the Honorable John Yarmouth. He's been such a friend. And to me, he's been a friend to the neighborhood, to the community, and to me personally. And that has meant so much in our efforts to be able to organize and generate the spirit and support from the people in the neighborhood to make this achievement possible. And we want also give our humble thanks to our staff, to include its executive director, and all of the participants and workers at the Louisville Metro Housing Authority. That's the greatest. <laughs> That's the greatest team that's ever been assembled to carry out a project of this type. And we have actually established a neighborhood governing body under the jurisdiction and support of Louisville Metro government. And we have had the leaders of our community uh, with long tradition, and they are invested with a stake in the neighborhood Many of our supporters and workers with us in the neighborhood governing body 
or residents, and they are outfield workers to help us to generate additional support from the total population of Russell. This is a big task, and it, re it involves every resident that lives here. We intend to persist on them for their full participation and bring their neighborhood leadership into a governing body. We need their support, their vote, their involvement, their energy, and their devotion to what we're doing. <coughs> We've looked at uh, what we have to do from the neighborhood's perspective. We have to prepare a workforce to be able to participate in the construction of the buildings that we're going to build for their livelihood. We intend to give them livable wages. We intend to generate educational opportunity through our programs such as the beach, which is established by Ms. Rosa Livingston, former assistant principal at Ballard High School, to help our children close their achievement gaps in school. The program will go from K through 12 and is citywide and all children are there. And within these plans, we intend to build within the Beach Terrace Complex a facility, an educational facility, where that all children can come, they can be safe, they can learn. We've also established an initiative seeking and appealing to our churches for their support in transforming the moral climate of our community. We have the assistance under the leadership of Reverend Jeffrey Ellis, who is a board member of Louisville Metro Housing Authority. And we will be seeking out and appealing to the moral authority of our community to bring us that guidance, that assistance, and that leadership, which will affect the character and the personality of the children, not only of this generation, but for generations to come. There's a lot that we have to do, because what we're doing here is an example or a model of what we have to repeat throughout the Louisville and Jefferson County community. Most of the housing in the city will have to be, at some time, be replaced. Through the mayor's leadership, we've established a financial institution by which we can carry on the tradition of home replacement as needed in our community. And that's why the support we have from HUD is so important because of the long investment and the amount of time that it's going to take to rebuild and replace housing as needed. And I want to thank everybody in the community for their support. None of this would be possible without you. And all the residents of the Russell neighborhood are eternally grateful and express our most sincere thanks for all the support that has been given us, not only in the months behind us, but the months in front of us. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Vachel Hudson. I'm also uh, involved with the Vision Russell team, and as well as being a member of the Vision Russell team. I'm also a resident. I worship, and I also work here in the Russell neighborhood. And um, as a Russell resident, I would just like to give my input on how I feel as a resident that what this grant can do for us and what type of hope that it brings to us as a community. Um, I believe that, first and foremost, I would like everyone behind me has already mentioned, I would like to thank everyone who has put in some type of effort towards the Division Russell Roadmap for the Future. And uh, it's, it's clear to see as a Russell resident that, you know, the effort being taken by all the team members, all the departments, 
uh, all the partners is definitely being noticed. Uh, our voices are being heard. And uh, I can tell you that from a firsthand experience, going to all these meetings with community leaders and people behind me who actually do care about our community, it's not only us, our people who are out there who do care about the community and what's going on. Uh, a couple of things that I would hope that this grant would continue to help promote in the community is positive, impactful change, such as uh, economical improvement, as well as, um, you know, get, like Mr. Manifer said um, and Mr. Fisher said, hopefully that we can get more residents involved in what's going on. Uh, you know, hopefully we can fill up Muhammad Ali again, such as Muhammad Ali Boulevard again, uh, like Muhammad Ali's funeral was. You know, if we could bring that many people out to help in the community and uh, continue to push forward the improvements, then, um, you know, sky's the limit. And, um, once again, I'd like to thank everybody who has been involved and as a, as a resident speaking. Thank you to all the residents who have came out and voiced their opinions as well. And um, this is just one step, one step up, and there's a lot more steps to go. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Rachel. At this point, we will do the check presentation to the city and the housing authority.